This border emergency is nothing more than a manufactured crisis, and California will not be part of this political theater. Just yesterday, I, I, I sent a new directive to the National Guard, put them on a new mission, one that's going to focus on, respectfully, the real threats facing our state. I've now directed the National Guard, a third of the forces that are currently at the border, to be redeployed to help prepare for the upcoming fire season by joining CAL FIRE in prevention and suppression work. Work, by, right, by the way, ironically, that was curtailed during the recent shutdown. Another third will boost the National Guard statewide counter drug task force by redeploying up north to go after all these illegal cannabis farms, many of which are run by the cartels that are devastating our pristine forests and increasingly themselves becoming fire hazards. And the remaining third of our guard we've directed to, to focus on stopping criminals smuggling drugs and guns through existing border checkpoints. The wall that stretches thousands and thousands of miles through wilderness will do nothing to stop this, this threat. So the answer to the White House, with all due respect, no more division, no more xenophobia, no more nativism. We suffered enough of that in the 1990s with Proposition 187 and Proposition 227.